I'm Shelby, and this is my Ram Pro Master 2500. This was a 2021 Ram Pro Master that I bought new with um, the help from my friend who built it out for me, and then I actually designed a lot of it and picked out all the materials and got it going that way. I was living out of a 2019 Ford Transit Connect, and I decided I wanted more room, more space. Um, that one I wasn't able to stand up in, and that was really important to me. And also I have a cat in here, so I really wanted to build out a van specifically for him. So in 2019, I knew that my job was gonna be ending, and I decided that I wanted to go travel abroad. Then COVID hit, and I kind of had to take a little bit of a back seat and decide what I wanted to do next. Seeing other people do it um, and watching their videos, listening to podcasts on solo females on the road was really inspiring. <laughs> and this is, uh, this is my cat, JP. Um, he is uh, seven years old and I've had him since he was a baby. Starting at my slider door area, I have this um, little area for my kitchen and I wanted to keep this whole area open um, for my cat to be able to play and also just have more room and feel like I wasn't so confined. So I have a three burner Furion um, oven and stove combo, um, which is really nice. Um, I cook in it all the time. Um, it feels like I'm basically at my house because I'm able to stand up. I also have this extender for my countertop so that I can put it up and down um, so it's not in the way all the time. And then underneath it, I also have a scratching post for my cat, which is really fun for him. The stove and oven run, run off propane and the oven is a pretty good size. Um, I'm able to make tofu in there, a bunch of veggies. I'm gonna make cookies soon and bread. And down below here we have storage space also for my pots and pans, um, as well as some cups and utensils and different things. And then this is also where um, my Wabasto heater is housed, um, kind of behind this area. And then above here is where the Wabasto controller. And this is also my Renogy inverter switch. Um, I had a switch installed because I want to make sure that it's not drawing power. And this is my closet. I really wanted to have space to hold a lot of my stuff um, hanging, which was really nice. Um, I have a lot of things that I don't really want to get wrinkled, so that was important to me. And then I also have a pretty close to a full length mirror on here so I can see myself um, and be able to get ready and dressed and put on makeup here. And then this is my junk drawer. You gotta have a junk drawer. You gotta have it. And then underneath this is also where I store some of my pots and pans. This is where the propane lives for my stove and my oven. In the back of my van is my bed. Um, I really wanted a raised fixed bed on this one because it's just easier. You don't have to set it up every morning and kind of put it back on my old van. I had to move it out every day and put it back in order just to even cook. Um, and so that was really important to me. And there's also a lot of extra storage underneath there because it's fixed. And then around my bed, I have two bunk windows and they vent. So when I open up the fan, the air airflow goes throughout the van. And I also have an air conditioner. It's 12 volt by Dometic and that's really helpful when it's really hot outside. My mattress is a full-size mattress. Um, it was important to me to sleep sideways um, so that I was able to save on some space in my van. So that's why I went with the Ram Pro Master because it does allow you to sleep this way um, as long as you're not super tall. But I'm about 5'6 and I'm able to sleep pretty comfortably. And then down below my bed, I have the book area. Um, and below that is actually where my cat hangs out. Usually when I drive, he goes in there. It's safer because it's kind of near the ground. And then he also sleeps in there. I have his bed in there and that's where I keep all his toys as well. So I have three overhead storage um, compartments. Um, mostly I put clothes in them. Basically I picked out this um, rattan material and just to kind of show you the space, it's mostly clothes in all of them. On this side of the van is where I have a lot of my counter space um, and sink area. And then I also have um, down below my counter, I have a Norcold fridge. And it's pretty, pretty decently sized. It's a little bit small. I probably would go with something a little bit bigger if I was building on another van, but it does work for me. Um, it allows me to have groceries for about a week or a week and a half depending on what I put in there. Over here in my sink area, I had a backsplash added to kind of make it feel more homey. Um, it's real tile. Um, and then over here in this kind of grouping, I have my USB and then my plugs, um, which is off the inverter that I mentioned before. 
and then this button is for my water pump for my sink. It does cold water only, and then I wanted to have a pretty big sink um, to clean dishes, and you can also move this kind of to different areas as you're using it. So my water comes from a 16 gallon tank that's in my garage area of my van. Um, and then also it feeds directly into my gray water tank, um, which is about seven gallons. So I have to change that a little bit more often. But the nice part about this cover, which actually came with a sink, it doubles as a sink cover. And then it also, you can turn it around and also use it as a cutting board just straight on here. So underneath here, I have my pantry where I store a lot of my food items, my cans, um, some cat food as well um, as my silverware. So it slides out um, by pushing it and it holds a lot of items and I kind of liked it this way better than just having drawers because I was able to save some space. This way I have a closure um, so this is kind of a push and then it locks um, but I found out later that when I was driving it would open a little bit so my van builder built me this little fish which is really cute and it holds it in place as I drive. This is one of my favorite parts of the van. I really want it to be, feel open and welcoming um, where I felt like I could host people. Um, so kind of starting off with the windows. This is something I really liked about my last van. I really enjoyed having a circle window kind of in the back of my Ford Transit Connect. And I, I just had to incorporate it again. I just thought it was so cute. This area is kind of my hangout spot um, to play cards with people, to make dinner. Um, it also doubles as another space where I can cook and prepare foods. Um, so it's this countertop and then we have this kitchen spot as well as the other smaller kitchen by the stove. I knew I wanted to have a spot for my cat um, for his food, food and water bowls. That was really important. Um, I didn't want to have to move them in and out all the time. So I just put a top on the water bowl and then I'm able to push that in and it locks as I drive. This table is a Laguna table and so it's it's on a swivel and so even the even the chair over here that's on a swivel um, you can it kind of reaches that area and then everyone can kind of hang out together. Um, underneath me um, is my cat's litter box so that that I'm able just to lift up and clean out um, by lifting up the part that I'm sitting on right now and then underneath on um, the other part of the chair is my cassette toilet um, that I'm able just to empty out as needed. Welcome to my garage. It's uh, a garage. It's pretty busy. Um, there's a lot of stuff happening in here. This is where I have a lot of my storage of my camping gear and different things. And my electrical is over here. I have 400 amp hour um, lithium batteries. I really wanted to have that because I knew that I was going to have my air conditioner and um, be using a lot of power that was pulling from that. I also have a DC to DC charger, which charges my batteries while I'm driving based on my car's alternator. On the roof, I have um, 400 watts of solar. So that's on two solar panels and it takes up a lot of space on my roof. Um, so I have just enough space for my fan, um, my air conditioner, and then the two solar panels. And then um, for showering outdoors, um, when I'm not using other friends' houses or um, gym memberships. I do use this um, heated shower and it connects to a small propane in here and then also my water tank, so my 16 gallon as well, fresh water. My van builders did something really unique and cool on my ceiling. They did a design um, based on something that I saw online. And I basically sent them kind of a design that I saw online and they modeled it perfectly. Thank you so much for checking out my van tour. It's been really fun showing you it. Um, my Instagram is herdestinyunbound. Would love to answer any questions and hope to see you on the road. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.